Welcome to AFTV. I have Yardman with me. I'm smiling. Listen, you know what? It's when, not... you, when you ever see us? I... <laughs> that's a good question. That's a good question. Gonna... That's what people are going to say in the comments. But listen, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. I've been... The positivity, the positivity of just sticking to the manager and just knowing that good things are to come has clearly played out. Because today, watching Arsenal, I've watched them with absolute joy, Yardman. You must be feeling the same. You nah, must be. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. The reason why I'm not happy, yeah? Mm. This runner farm come right on the peak of the transfer window. Mm. So what's going to happen now? They're going to say, well, we turned the corner. We're good. We're scoring goal. We score what? Two, three, seven, nine goal in three games. Mm. That's what? Three goal a game? Mm. Do you really believe them they're going to spend any big money now to get us a playmaker because of this turn of form? That's why I'm not happy. Because I okay. see this happen all the time with Wenger. Mm. I see this happen in the, in the summer transfer window when Wenger don't go in the market. And all of a sudden, we lose four, three game, draw two over, then them jump in the market and make some panic buy. Mm. So, Do you know what? I, I, I can only slightly agree with you because they tried. They offered Rob Holden a new contract, which I found questionable, considering the form's been getting better. So they feel, oh, let's give Rob Holden a new contract. Which, not, don't get me wrong, it's all, he's a good player, but I don't think he's been great. But I feel like we're jumping to the gun of giving players new contracts when we just got a bit of run of form. However, yeah. however, I think we should still. I think Arsenal should still consider making signings in the January window because Emil Smith Rowe and Saka, yeah, they're all they're amazing, but they're youngsters. I mean. They got to bring in, still got to bring in like replacements for them. They're not going to have to last out the whole season. What, wait, what do you wait, think? Wait, 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 what I don't understand where you say you think they should still make signing. We need playmaker. Mm. We want playmaker. Mm. And rem I remember this quote from, I would say, the greatest Premier League manager ever, Sir Alex Ferguson. And mm. he said, you can't win things with kids. And if oh, yeah. he's the greatest and he's telling you that, that means mm. something. So, if, at, at the end of the day, um, ML Smith will get a run a game, what, three game, and, and the track has been starting, and mm -hmm. he's been growing confident. We mm -hmm. know Saka. We know that Boyaka, this guy, is the leader. <laughs> he's the leader on the pitch, but he's still a kid. We can't depend on kids. You understand? Laka, Laka been scoring, and I tell people, keep Lacazette in the 18-yard box, he will score. He will mm. score anything you give to him in there. See, proven, he's been scoring. Mm. I'm not scoring, but at the end of the day, he's not being selfish. He's still playing the game or he's supposed to be playing. You know, sometimes, you know, your centre forward not scoring, and he's a talisman, he's not scoring, you know, everything. Like, it could be, um, um what's I call him? Salah. You know, the mm -hmm. selfish. But I still see him passing it. Even sometimes when he can make a shot from 30 yards, he's passing it. So, I like all of that. I like how the, the, everybody just the, 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 the goal is coming from everybody now. Kieran Tierney, I said like the other day, like this guy is if he keep up this farm that he, he, he's got, he's gonna be maybe not the greatest, but he's gonna be a left back to remember Definitely. if he keep it up because he can get forward and mm. his crossing them is getting better and better. When he just from the crossing, them wasn't really connecting. But this time around, for the last couple of games, I'm not saying from the start of the season, for the last couple mm. of games, crossing is getting a little bit better. Maybe because we have more man in the box, maybe we'll start to attack it as a team. So it's, it's something it's something slightly different. But go back to the first point. The main concern is that we have to go and get a playmaker. This is just a blip. This can, yeah. this can just disappear anytime. Because remember, we're on a long losing streak. Mm -hmm. Olaf will beat Manchester United. We drew a two game since mm -hmm. these three back to back wins. So I don't want people to believe that, oh, we're after hope now. No, we're not. Because this is the second half of the season and this is when we're supposed to be bombing forward. And we yeah, can't yeah. do that without we have somebody who can create stuff for Laka and Abba. And, mm -hmm. and William is, is not the guy. He's definitely not yeah. the guy. I, 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 I didn't. I, didn't I, like on, I was gonna say sorry to cut you on Willie, and we're gonna carry on. I was, I was gonna ask uh, because I know you're a big Pepe fan. I know you're a big Pepe fan. And I was like, I was gonna ask you, were you a bit annoyed to see Willian come on instead of Pepe? And if I'm honest, when Willian come on, 
Oh my god, he was frustrated to watch, man. I oh, sorry, Willie Andrew. Um, I don't know, but they have to do something to Pepe. I don't know if they need to sit him down mm. and let him know that listen, you got because sometimes take that a player like to have that arm around the shoulder and, and, and reassure him that you know what I mm. want you to be my winger, my right winger. Yeah. I want you to to just drop everything and just concentrate on the football. Just play. Go out there and enjoy yourself. Because mm. we know, and this is something I don't want to see, we know that there's a good player in Pepe. And I really mm. don't want to see Arsenal let him go and he goes somewhere go kick up a storm. I don't want to see that. So mm. whatever they got to do, they have to do it with Pepe. He's our record-breaking signing. And we can't yeah. get a true note of him. Something is wrong. And that's what we're coming on the scene now. And like I said, the three game, the first game you can see him was a little bit tight. He was the confident wasn't really there. The second game you see him start to get loose now. Today, he was a different sort of player. Yeah. yeah? And it's like he's feeding off a soccer as well. Because look look who we have. The two, the, the two of them playing so beautifully today. I mean, West Brom was poor. Don't get it wrong. I'm not carried away or oh, they're brilliant. No, I'm not getting West Brom was poor. But when they are so young and they're playing good. We have yeah. to congratulate them. We have to let them know because that's a that's a little boost of confidence in them to, for them to keep yeah. on doing that. So that's what I want to see. And like I said, Saka, this this guy is. I just it's hope good. and pray he doesn't get a knock and yeah. he continue this farm because yeah. I didn't like to see. I, did, I like I said, Saka was playing so good and William come on to take him place. I just didn't like that. And mm -hmm. sometimes you know, say, huh? You gotta protect Saka though, man. Yeah, you, you gotta protect him, man. You I, know what I mean? I don't I don't really believe in this protecting, you know, because if you go back and remember when Messi first burst on the scene, then mm -hmm. he what 2005, 2006, I believe him comes yeah. 2007, somewhere in that corner. Yeah. Messi doesn't really take a break. He played mm -hmm. every competition and he's still doing it now. So yeah. I don't believe in burning out so I don't believe in it. If you manage them properly. Messi don't come off a, a, a 60, 70, 80 minutes in game. He played the whole 90 minutes. Messi played mm -hmm. every single game for Barca. He doesn't really want to miss a game. Ronaldo is the same one. He mm -hmm. played every single game. They don't want to miss a game. So like I said, I don't believe in burning out. If Saka is playing good, he need that run of form. He need that to continue to play like that. Don't tell me they're going to take him off and put on William. Don't do that. We're playing good like... What, what's that? Yeah, the game, the game was. I hear what you're saying. The game was won. I, 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 listen, I think Arteta today. I think he actually done well, everything. I, I'm, you know me. I've been Arteta in for a while, but everything he done today, I was actually very impressed with how the players came out, the football, the decisions in the in the substitutions. It, it's it's looking it's looking positive, yard man. Like we we got yeah, a good I, run. I'm, I'm not. Go don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. We win three on the track, but that doesn't say anything because. <laughs> Chelsea, we, I'm, I'm going to say Chelsea, we did beat them. It's not a, a fluke. We no. go there, I will score three good goals and they get back one. And mm. we go to um, Brighton. And you know, Brighton mm. wasn't an easy place to go to, meaning that we just lost a couple of games and beat Chelsea. You know, Brighton could just come over and say, you know what, this confident that they have rolling with, they could have easily well done something to us. Mm. We beat them and now we come beat West Brom. West Brom is playing really poor. They're shifting goal like nobody what? business. Yeah, so, so you say that, you say that but obviously they drew to Liverpool, they drew to City. We yeah. haven't beaten them in three three appearance, three times that we played them. We've, we've yeah. drawn one and lost two. So it, yeah. it I get it though. They are low. They, they are they're in they're low down on the table. But it's we got what we saw visually, yeah. like it was yeah, it yeah, was yeah. heading in the right yeah, direction. What, what we saw from the team, oh they're playing. And everybody's attacking in, 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 in uh, as a team, which we wasn't mm. doing that in, in, in the first couple um couple game back. We wasn't doing that. So of yeah. course African like, like I said, I'm not getting carried away here or oh, winter mm -hmm. in the track were up to 11 place now. No, I'm not. But what I'm saying, I would like to see the the, the, the club ask the, the, the supporters to back Arteta. But we okay. cannot back Arteta until they back him. And yeah. don't we don't want this to get carried away. We are is a thing where they don't they maybe they were looking at to sign a player a, a playmaker for 40 50 million if possible but no we turn we, we win three game on the chat and we were scoring goal they could maybe go and sign somebody for 15 million 20 million mm. somebody who lowered on the peg so this is yeah, what arsenal do and this is what concerned me 
right okay. at this very present moment because Mikel Arteta come out and say, you're going to see more out than in. And I did tell you when we was losing this game, when the transfer window opened up, Arsenal supposed to be the first team that to sign a player. And, I'm, yeah. and I tell you that that wouldn't happen. Arsenal would be the last big team in the, in the Premier League to sign a player on deadline day. If That's Mikel right. Arteta win the next two games, Mark my word. If they <laughs> sign a player, it's have to be deadline day. And we have to yeah. wake up in the morning to say, oh, yeah, Arsenal signed that player. So, <laughs> but that, And it's something that happened continuously from Venga mm -hmm. days, continuously. So right. I just hope it does carry on. We're moving up the table. We're making a couple of wins. And we have a couple of easy games, home game coming up. Not easy, but home game. We lost a couple of two, two on the chat at, at, at the Emirates. So I hope we can just pick up back this farm and we see about Martinelli in. And you know, the next thing I want to say, why um what's his name? Um his yeah. name come up my head again. Well, come on, last. Um come on, Lars. Um, um not me, not um midfield, oh god. Willock. Willock, why, yeah, why come Willock, on. Like every time Willock coming on, on the what? pitch, Willock look like he just wake up. Mm. Why you look like him? Oh, he look like I have a sleepy face. So I'm going to start calling him sleepy. Him, uh, look at his face. Him always look like him just like Mikel. They just wake him up. Look, you have to call. I just wake him. Him can't fix that, man. He can't fix that. He yeah. can't fix that. <laughs> <laughs> got a, yeah, he's sleeping there, man. Sleeping. Mm. Like always sleeping. But anyway, good win. And yes. we we'll just keep up that farm and see what he's going to bring to us. And I hope Arsenal go out there and sign a proper. Playmaker and don't get carried away with this three win and don't sign anybody. 